What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you three different dribbling activities that you can do to improve your overall dribbling. Keep in mind that these training drills are individual based and that training with the team, doing small side, playing 1v1s or playing 11v11 matches is really the best way to improve your dribbling. But if you don't have access to a team, a team environment or players to play against and play small side with, then you can use these activities to improve your dribbling. And these are the three best ones that I personally use in my individual training sessions. So jumping into the first one is going to be this box free freestyle dribbling activity where you basically create a three by three yard box and you freestyle dribble inside the box for 30 seconds. And then after 30 seconds, you take a 30 second break and then you go 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off and you alternate off and on of the reps. So it's 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off and you do four to five sets of it. And basically all you're doing for the full 30 seconds is just dribbling in a freestyle fashion. And it's basically more of just a freestyle activity inside a confined space and having to move the ball very quickly and it just helps to improve overall foundational ability on the ball. Again, it's 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off times four or five sets of that. Now moving on into the second activity here is going to be this two-way dribbling activity where you set up a cone that you're going to go 1v1 with before choosing a side. Either you go left or right. If you go left, it's going to be this shuttle run, uh, three cone shuttle run. And then if you go to the right, it's going to be the Ronaldinho drill. And you're just dribbling in and out of the cones with one yard spacing in between each cone scattered across 20 to 30 cones. This activity is pretty simple. All you're doing is just starting about five yards away from the first cone, then you dribble towards it, go 1v1, choose a side, and then perform the activity that corresponds with the side that you chose. If you go to the left, like I said, you're gonna be doing the shuttle run, and then if you go to the right, you're gonna be doing the Ronaldinho drill. And then the last dribbling activity here is going to be your standard shuttle run, and it's just gonna be basically four cones set five yards apart, and you're gonna dribble from the first cone to the second, back to the first, and then from the first to the third, back to the first, and then from the first to the fourth and then back to the first and so very plain and simple and if you watched my last video where I talked about the energy systems in the body to help to increase fitness levels then you'll know that all three of these activities do engage the glycolytic system and the ATP PC system which is your fast max intensity short duration energy system these can help to increase fitness levels on the ball to increase your foundational control of the ball and can overall improve your dribbling ability during your individual training sessions if you enjoyed this video don't drop a like and subscribe to the channel and I will catch you all next time. All right guys, peace.